I think it's pretty safe to say that when we look at Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, there's a handful of fans who really love this movie, and there's also a handful of fans who really dislike this movie, and that really is a given fact. This movie is quite divisive, but nowhere as near as divisive as The Last Jedi was for the Star Wars community. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you will know that I feel that The Rise of Skywalker was a decent Star Wars movie, the best of the entire sequel trilogy. Do I think it's a perfect film? No. Do I think it's a absolutely great movie? No. But I do believe it's an entertaining, decent Star Wars movie with ups and downs. It has its good scenes, it has its horrible scenes in it. And I gotta say, I mean, I really was expecting it to be worse than The Last Jedi, in which it really performed better than The Last Jedi, at least in my point of view. Now, beyond everything related to Episode 9, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are looking to expand the franchise into something new. They're trying to evolve the franchise for the Star Wars community that's really going to take the fans into a new mythology, into new eras as well, that take place before The Phantom Menace and even after Episode 9. There are different eras that are currently unexplained as well, such as the era between both the originals and the sequels that's also going to be expanded. That, of course, lies within The Mandalorian, The Mandalorian Season 2, and other future, you know, TV series that are currently in the works. Now, on top of all of this, what's really intriguing all has to do with both Disney and Lucasfilm, that, that they are currently building the new Star Wars universe that is said to come in many different forms for the franchise, such as books, novels, comics, and even movies and TV shows, that will all connect to each other, where Lucasfilm is said to have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects currently in the works, and that they are a mixture of animated and live-action projects. One of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm is that they are said to be developing a Rise of Skywalker sequel series that is said to be an animated TV series similar to The Clone Wars Season 7 that will tell new tales about the events after Episode 9 and the story of Rey Skywalker and more. Now, however, what's very exciting is that though the project is in very early development is that with this project, they plan to bring a return of Ben Solo in some way, shape, or form for the franchise, as well as other characters like Luke, Kenobi, Yoda, Leia, Qui-Gon, Mace Windu, and others as Force Ghosts. However, the return of Ben Solo in this project is said to be the highlight of the series, and that this is the new series that will give fans a view of Rey's new Jedi Order. Now, the series is said to be far off from its release, and that much work is needed to be done, but it is in early development and will have a similar animation style to The Clone Wars Season 7 on Disney+. Now, it's noted that the sequel trilogy series will also dive further into the story of Rey's father, who is Palpatine's son, as well, and is said to be a series that will expand the franchise just like how Star Wars Rebels and The Clone Wars did. So, I don't know about you guys, but to me, I find this a little bit interesting. Not so much for the Rey side of things, but more so for everything related to the new Jedi Order, the Force Ghost, and especially Ben Solo. I would imagine, I would most certainly imagine that Ben Solo could be Rey's new Jedi Master at this point in time during the events of everything that comes after Episode 9. I really do believe that that's the route that they're going to go. The fact that they're bringing back Ben Solo in some way, shape, or form. He's going to be the Master of Rey in a very unique way to how Luke was somewhat of a master to Rey in the sequel trilogy series. Now, when we look at everything what Disney and Lucasfilm are trying to do, obviously they are in a phase of desperation, right? This is their way of really trying to fill in the gaps, of really, you know, telling us what they couldn't tell in The Rise of Skywalker. You know, obviously a lot of fans were very confused or curious about Ben Solo's fate and whether or not he became a Force Ghost. And the fact that Ben Solo is returning... You know, the fact that they're trying to do that in this sequel series, quote-unquote, it really is going to be a way to give us closure to exactly what happened to Ben Solo after his, quote-unquote, death on the world of Exegol. Now, when we look at The Rise of Skywalker, obviously it was a decent Star Wars movie to a lot of fans out there, but it was also a failure to a lot of fans as well. A lot of fans did not like this movie, and that is perfectly fine. You know, like I say, there's a lot of scenes that I hate in that movie, but there's a lot of scenes that I actually do enjoy that are actually very emotional and well-written. So, when we look at Episode 9 and everything that goes after it, 
The fact that they are trying to use this new series as a part of their new Star Wars universe, their new expanded universe, that's really going to give us a new mythology. It's going to give us a new era of the Star Wars franchise that we have never seen before on the big screen. I think that's something to look forward to, at least to a certain extent. Um, like I say, I'm never a fan of the whole Rey Skywalker thing. Um, I think that that is one thing that really should have been treated differently, where maybe she could have been somehow legitimately related to the Skywalkers in order to call herself a Skywalker. I just did not like the decision by Disney and Lucasfilm, but that's just me. I don't know what your stance is on that, but let me know below in the comments. But yeah, guys, with that being said, I would really like to hear what each and every one of you have to say about all of this below in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.